You'll notice that there's a few elements of my movement that are controlling the music. Um, the first element is, I think most obviously, the kind of bubbly sound. Um, when I wave my arms together um, from side to side and up and down, the uh, position along the y-axis of my hands chooses a note that harmonizes with the current chord progression out of an array that ascends. And then the speed with which I'm moving my hands together or moving them apart determines the amplitude. The same is true for the kind of eerie buzzing trumpet sound. And then um, when I move my feet approximately in sync with the beat, the percussion will turn on and off. When I put my hands close above my head, there's a voice that sings hey, and then it switches to this eerie kind of granular trumpet sound. If you do it again, then it'll switch back to this kind of uh, uh, bubbly sound. And as your hands go high above your head, the pitch gets high. Right, exactly. Did you have to learn to play the instrument? I, I did a little bit. I had to learn how to kind of mold the sound of my hands. I got the inspiration for this kind of pushing and pulling that my hands are doing um, by just thinking of like a trombone player and how there's kind of this pushing and pulling movement that they make. So I was thinking about that in the brassy sounds and I thought, well, that's kind of an intuitive way to do it. And you are, you are moving on to study medicine. Yeah, exactly. So my goal is to become a neurosurgeon. I'm doing an MD, PhD. Um, and so a lot of people say, well, why, why the PhD? Um, well, I hope to do um, neurophysiology experiments in humans someday. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some super inspiring neurosurgeons out there that learn incredible things about the human mind and mm -hmm. um, just by doing recordings in their patients. So that's what I hope to do.